20 minutes away from 9 o'clock. Good to have you with us here on the Monday edition of the South African Morning. Well, Tabo Besta and Dr. Nandipa Magudamana were rearrested in Tanzania. Now, a high level police and security delegation has been sent to the country to bring them back. There's still a lot of questions, though, around Besta's movie like prison escape. It's really only one of the ways to explain it. Now, this week's Parliament, this week, Parliament's Correctional Services Committee will try to get answers from G4S, a security company that was running the Mangaung prison that Besta escaped from. Well, let's get the thoughts of the DA's uh, Janu Engelbrecht, who is also the DA Correctional Services uh, Shadow Minister, I understand. Uh, Janu, good morning to you, and thank you for much for your time. Hope you had a wonderful Easter, but it's back to business, of course, this week. So who's the most important question you want to ask uh, this week? Is it G4S? Is it the Minister of Justice? Where would you like to start this week? Well, good morning. Um, now, I've got a lot of uh, questions I need to ask G4S um, relating to this escape and why it was withheld for such a long, a long time. Yeah, there's a lot of questions about the timelines around this. First of all, where did this body that was partially burnt, where did that body come from? Why was this not reported at the time uh, as well? And do we know if G4S are going to be appearing? Because not too long ago they were saying that they had to be summoned. So do we know if they're going to arrive this week? Well, I would hope that they would arrive because... Um they asked to be summoned, and uh, they were summoned, and if they do not uh, appear, then obviously they will be in content. Um, but I, I suspect that they will be there on Wednesday morning to answer some questions that the committee has for them. Give me one of the, the top questions that people are going to be looking for, because I know part of the committee was also when going through to the Mangaung prison as well. Are you wanting to know about leadership, management, the issues within the facility itself? Uh, where are you hoping this conversation goes? How much detail are you looking for from them? Well, I'm, I was there myself on, uh, on uh, Tuesday morning last week. Uh, we went through the entire facility um, everywhere where Tabu Besta was, um, from his initial cell to the uh, isolation that he went to, um, everything. So I, would, I, I want to know how it could have happened that he would escape without anyone knowing, uh, seeing that this facility is very high tech, high security, um, and um, it's a keyless, it's a keyless system, so uh, all the doors can only be opened from the control room. Mm. And I would also like to know that uh, what happened to the video footage that's apparently uh, missing, and all the cameras were not working inexplicably at that uh, particular point in time. Um, so, uh, it, look, it seems like a, a large-scale cover-up inside job. Uh, for me, from when I'm, I'm sitting in after I've seen what, I've, what I saw. Um, so they need to, to come in and explain um, extensively uh, as to exactly what happened. There's been issues with G4S. I'm not sure if you would have had a chance to hear a few of the interviews we've done with our UK correspondent, Oli Barrett. G4S over in the UK uh, has been quite a problematic company handling prisons. I think it was Birmingham prison where there were issues as well. I imagine you're going to want to know not just from G4S but from government why these contracts are in place for so long because some would suggest getting contracts of that length to run prisons can lead to mediocrity. Well, for sure, these contracts were entered into um, quite some time ago. Um, it has already been stated before this uh, double bester incident that um, the Department of Correctional Service do not wish to extend these contracts. Um, and not only in, in, in Great Britain, but also in South Africa, there's been problems uh, relating to G4S. Uh, we, we have uh, received reports and um, the judicial uh, uh, inspectorate already uh, uh, investigated some uh, some instances of torture and mishandling of, of inmates and the like over many years in that facility. So um, it is problematic, and I, for one, do not believe that uh, a government department should uh, give out on tender uh, its core responsibility 
um, from from correctional services. So yes, I, I would be very surprised if these contracts would be extended in any way or form. So, as the uh, Correctional Services Shadow Minister, uh, Janu, uh, would you say not to have an outside company, <coughs> not to third party source, but rather have government uh, running the prisons in our country? Is, is that the way you would have it go? Of course, yes. This is a core responsibility. Smaller things that, that, that should happen can be contracted out, but not your core responsibility as a department. Um, it's the, the responsibility of the Department of, of uh, Correctional Services uh, to incarcerate, to rehabilitate uh, inmates. And you cannot uh, contract that out because your, the margin of control that you have over your core uh, mandated responsibility is very limited uh, to an extent that uh, someone else is doing it. And you can only come after the fact if something uh, happened there, like mm. in this instance. Uh, the, the connection is starting to go, uh, Jana. I was going to ask you one last question before I say goodbye. Uh, yeah, it's assumed that Tabo Besta is going to come back. There's a delegation over in Tanzania, we told. It's the assumption that he's going to come back to South Africa. Uh, would Tabo Besta, in your opinion, should he be going to a prison like Mbongweni, Supermax, for example? He should go to a correctional services facility that is administered and run by the Department of Correctional Services. Um, not to a private facility, um, because I know that there's so much more in place at our, our own uh, correctional facilities that something like this is inconceivable. It cannot happen. Um, and, uh, well, it shouldn't have happened at G4S, but uh, mm -hmm. as I said before, our margin of control is, is rather limited there. Yeah, government oversight, uh, probably most important here. Janu, thank you very much indeed for your time. I appreciate it on what is a public holiday. But it's going to be a busy week for uh, correctional services and uh, those wanting to get answers uh, this week as well. It's the Parliamentary Correctional Services Committee going to get answers from G4S, uh, the company involved in the Mangoong prison. Uh, and it's uh, going to be later this week. I'm sure we'll have updates for you here on ENCA. It's 12 away.